Now to the Banat district of Yugoslavia, where two unusual colonies of artists are flourishing in the remote villages of Kovacica and Uzdin. The Banat, lying to the east of the river Danube, near the Romanian border, is the richest farmland in Central Europe. Its black earth has produced not only magnificent crops and livestock, but also some remarkable people, peasants with a talent for painting in the style known as naive. It's a remote part of the country, having little contact with the mainstream of modern Yugoslavian life, ideal conditions for the growth of a folk art tradition. The Slovak village of Kovacica has been home to both men and women naive artists ever since the school of naive painting began in Yugoslavia in the 1930s. In Kovacica itself, the movement began when three painters met to discuss their reproductions of picture postcards. Since that time, much has happened. First came contacts with academic painters who offered encouragement and some instruction, then exhibitions at home and abroad, and finally the official seal of approval with the opening of a gallery of primitive art in Zagreb in 1952. As a result, several of Yugoslavia's naive painters have managed to win international acclaim. One of these is a 40-year-old housewife from Kovacica called Zutsana Chalupova. Zutsana is typical of many naive painters working in Yugoslavia today, in that she's an ordinary housewife living an ordinary life in a rather obscure country village. Despite the fact that she's travelled all over Europe and the United States, she's refused to be lured away from her native environment, even though her best work can fetch as much as $1,000 a canvas. The basis of naive art is the conflict generated when the experience of an untutored artist, like Zutsana Chalupova, is expressed through a sophisticated medium like oil painting. Naive paintings are easily identified by their style, which is always brightly coloured and flat like a picture postcard. The figures are reminiscent of child art, and the pictures themselves invariably tell a story. Zutsana Chalupova's work, in fact, shows a degree of talent that lifts it right out of the amateur level which usually characterises naive paintings. But she sticks to the rules of naive art which limit her sketches to her immediate surroundings. What's unusual is that she prefers to describe the events and people of her rural environment in purely urban terms. One distinctive aspect of Zutsana's pictures is the large number of children she features. She herself explains this in terms of fulfilling a personal need. She has no children of her own and says she derives great joy from painting other people's. At Uzdin, a few kilometres to the north of Kovacica, there's an even more remarkable community of naive artists. Here, it's only the women who paint, while the men concern themselves with the usual activities of country life. The inhabitants of Ustin are mostly descendants of Romanians who first settled in the Banat a hundred years ago. Perhaps the most famous of the Uzdina women is Marija Balan, a 45-year-old mother of two. Like Zutsana Chalupova, Marija Balan's work has been seen all over the world, and her paintings also command high prices. Although both women paint in the naive style, their work is quite different in subject matter and technique. Whereas Zutsana concerns herself almost exclusively with the urban aspects of her village, Marija is totally involved in farm life, running a poultry smallholding of her own.
turkeys loom large, not only in Marija Balan's backyard, but also on her canvases. The textures of her paintings draw strongly on the weaving and embroidery crafts that are traditional to the area. The picture postcard origins of naive paintings are evident in this winter scene, but there's a degree of technical excellence that makes it something much more than a Christmas card. In this baptism scene inside a church, there's a hint of the deeper origins of Yugoslav naive painting in the icons of the 18th century and the carved tombstones of the 16th. Although it's supposed to be one of the essentials of naive art that it should spring from a folk environment, this is becoming an increasingly difficult condition to fulfill in the modern world. This scene could have been inspired by a Grecian urn, an object the artist could not have met in her remote Yugoslavian village. From its earliest beginnings, naive art in Yugoslavia has been concerned with interpreting contemporary realities and reflecting prevailing social conditions. And the best of Marija Balan's work is faithful to this tradition. Although there are naive artists in many other countries of the world, nowhere have they made such an impact as in Yugoslavia, where 200 are thought to be living and working today. Although most Western critics place them outside the mainstream of contemporary world art, they nevertheless make a valuable contribution towards enriching Yugoslavia's artistic traditions.